It's a quick news break with yours truly, Mr. Teleferro. Dwayne Wade's out promoting his new documentary entitled D Wade A Life Unexpected. And Dwayne Wade revealed on this morning's edition of Good Morning America that he had a tough decision to make when he put this documentary together. He was like, yo, how much do I talk about my then son, Zion Wade, who wants to be identified as a young girl, right? She's 12 years old. Again, born as a boy, Zion Wade is now transitioning, I believe. I don't, I don't know where they're at in the process here, but I want to be respectful Dwayne Wade and his wife, Gabrielle Union, announced that Zaya Wade, which is technically the son of D. Wade, will now be transitioning into a young lady, and she's now going to be called Zaya Wade. Again, Dwayne Wade revealed that Zaya has known it for nine years now since she was three, that she wanted to be a straight trans transgender girl. Uh, he also detailed in his interview that he had to check himself at the door. He said, uh, I knew early on that I had to ask myself questions. I've been a person in the locker room that has been a part of the conversation that has said the wrong phrases and the wrong words. You know, I feel like we've all been there, either in the locker room or just in some phase of life. We're learning. D. Wade said, as I got older and I watched my daughter grow, I had to go and look myself in the mirror and say, who are you? What are you going to do if your child comes home and says, dad, I'm not a boy, I'm a trans girl. What are you going to do? That was my moment of real. Dwayne Wade continued by saying she is the one who sat down with us as a family and said, hey, I don't think I'm gay. And she went down the list. This is how I identify myself. This is my gender identity. I identify myself as a young lady. I think I'm a straight trans because I like boys. So it was a process for us to sit down with our daughter and find out who she is and what she likes and not put something on her. So I want to play a clip of Zaya Wade and Dwayne Wade seemingly on a golf course last week. And this is Zaya Wade just kind of giving her truth and giving her story a little bit of why she wants just to be Zaya Wade. Because they're afraid they will be judged. Um, I would say, you know, don't even think about that. You know, just be true to yourself because are you really even like, it's what's the point of being on this earth if you're going to try to be someone you're not? It's like you're not even living as yourself, which is like the dumbest concept to me. It's just like, you know, be true and don't really care what like the stereotypical way of like being you is. Even when people are being mean, even when, when people are getting hurt uh, by because they're trying to be themselves and even even through that, you still want people to make sure that they live their truth? Yeah, I think, I'm, I know it can get tough, definitely. Yeah, I, but I think you push through and you be the best you. And especially, like, especially more recently, like, it's become a more accepting, even though there's, you know, obviously a lot of people out there who still are really upset, you know, more in the, like, back in their days way of mind. But I think even through hard times, just, you gotta, you gotta just push through. I mean, like, it's worth it. I feel like it's very worth it when you reach that point of, like, yourself. I'm feeling free. Yeah. I'm feeling like you. Yeah. I feel like you don't have to hide. Like, you mean, you can look in the mirror and, like, say, like, hi to yourself. Like, mm. nice to meet you. Mm. Instead of, like, mm, I don't really know who I am. Mm. It's like a full identity crisis. Mm. Yeah. yeah, sometimes I don't know what people want from me. Sometimes I think people want me to come on here and be homophobic, but I've admitted to you guys time and time again, I joke a lot on this platform. We do the what series, we joke a lot, but I don't really think anything's funny about this one. If anything, I'll be laughing at D-Wade just because he's D-Wade and he got the dunk contest wrong last week. I love Zaya's energy. I don't care what y'all saying. I think the energy is great. Now, in my personal life, since people want to know, would I have allowed my 11 or 12 year old son or daughter to make a, a, a change like this when we're talking about actually going through the process of switching private areas? For me personally, I don't believe I would have let that happen at this early of age just because people grow up, but also I'm not in that position. I don't live with that every day, so I think it's tough for me to come on camera and say what I would do or for you to say what you would do, how you would move. That's not fair. I was talking to one of my closest friends, uh, Darius, and it's my brother from another mother. And we were talking about how, like, if, yo, what if D-Wade doesn't accept his kid? And my homie was like, yo, that kid's probably going to kill herself. Kill himself. Well, you're just going to go off the edge because if you don't got that acceptance in the in your home, how are you going to find that in the real world? So I get that 100%. Look, Zaya's on camera saying, just love yourself. Just love yourself. How can you be mad at an energy that peer? 
We a lot more of us need a pure energy like Zaya Wade. Damn it, uh, somebody who need a little bit of that Zaya spirit is Boosie Badass. Now I'm not against what Boosie is saying, the premise of it. He probably went about it the wrong way, but check out Boosie on Instagram. He does not agree with Dwayne Wade's decision to allow his son to transition into a daughter at this early of an age. Check it out. I gotta say something about this shit, bro. Dwayne Wade, you gone too fucking far, dog. That is a male. A 12 year old. At 12, they don't even know, they don't even know what they next meal gonna be. They don't even, they don't have shit figured out yet. He might meet a, a, a woman, anything at 16 and fall in love with her. But his dick be gone, how you gonna? Like, bro, that's, it's, it's, you going too far, dog. Don't cut his dick off, bro. Like, bro, for real. If he gonna be gay, let him be gay. But don't cut his dick off, bro. Like, don't address him as a woman, dog. He's 12 years old. He don't, he's not, he's not up there yet. He, he hasn't made his final decisions yet. Don't cut his fucking dick off, Dwayne Wade, bro. You fucking tripping, dog. You tripping, dog. You tripping, dog. Yeah, I think everybody has their own perspective. I, I, I get what Boosie's saying. I actually don't disagree with it. I do think it's a very early age to allow a kid to make a decision like that. And I think what Boosie is saying is that what if your your what if your son uh, ends up liking women at a later age, like fifteen or sixteen? Hell, what if he just he's just a late bloomer, right? I do get what Boosie is saying. The premise of it. Now he niggified it, but I do get what he's saying. The premise of it. He's not off there, and I kind of do agree with that sentiment. But I will say this to Boosie. Sometimes you just know, bruh. Some people ain't never gonna be straight. All right, let's just call it. Some people were, I'm not saying meant to be gay or born gay. I'm not going that far. But some people are never coming back on the totem pole. Some people really like to be straight. Some people really are not like, don't like to be straight, right? I see both sides of that. So I'm not gonna be the one to judge. I do wanna respect this black father who's stepping up and having this conversation. Whether you agree with him or not, I appreciate that bruh's not running from this conversation. He's attacking his head on and including it in his documentary. Y'all let me know in the comment box below. I'm open ears to this conversation though. Y'all let me know. Uh, Dwayne Wade announces that his son that was born Zion Wade is transitioning into Zion Wade. Congratulations to Zion on her transition. I'm just happy that she's happy. All right, I'm out. I came from nothing, but I want everything God has for me. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I still represent the coach. I got the kids. They tuned in. Tuned in. We locked in right now, Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Telefair. Shout out to Mr. Telefair. Watching Mr. Telefair TV. Mr. Telefair TV.